again, I'm, I'm, I'm venturing into the future here, but we've got, I don't know, by my count, probably about 60 well-funded uh, humanoid robot companies, a few out of the US. But these robots are going to be driven by agents, aren't they? Yeah, digital labor, Peter. This is real. And digital labor is real. I mean, agentic platforms and agents and robots are kind of the same thing in a way, if you think about it as digital labor. And mm -hmm. yeah, you're going to be able to take these. You can see these great videos coming out of Stanford right now. And in the video, in this incredible project, this Mahalo project, which are AI models that are working to run these robots and they are cleaning these hotel rooms. I, I've seen and, those. Is that, your, is that your philanthropy funding those? It's not my philanthropy funding it, but our team at Salesforce comes out of Stanford and our head of research in AI is also a professor of AI at Stanford. And so we're very involved with these folks. And I would say that I just talked actually to the creators of this Mahalo model. So it's on my mind that, you know, here's this robot, you know, cleaning this hotel room. And I'm like, and you know, I funded a couple of children's hospitals and I went right there and I said, you know, for some of these new therapies we have for cancer and we need the ability to not bring humans into, you know, the ro hospital rooms of kids who are going through some of these therapies, as you know, very well, you've got the tech, you're the MD with the technical background, but that idea of a robot cleaning a hospital room or a robot cleaning a hotel room it's also going to have to be linked to the hotel record, the customer record on the hotel. Hello, Mr. Benioff. Is it okay that I'm in here? Or should I leave the room right now? Mm -hmm. Or the hospital room where it's like, this, this can happen in this hospital room and this cannot. This is very exciting that we can augment our human workforce with a digital workforce or a robotic workforce or an agentic workforce. And we are moving into that very fast. And that's not in the future. That is here, here and now. And um, that is very exciting. Yeah, I mean, the other people don't realize one of the big benefits about these these robot systems, humanoid or otherwise, is the data gathering. Really, they're they're driving massive amounts of data to train the next generation of agents and and AI models. Uh, have you been investing in any of these companies yet? I am investing in those companies, yeah. and I, you know, I'm a believer in this in the future, and I'm not going <laughs> to jump into the future like you are, but I occasionally go there. And uh, I think that, you know, look, we just picked off the top two of the five. You know, the first one is, look, we're moving into an agentic world where yeah. human workforce will be augmented by digital labor and that companies, organizations will be able to extend their workforces. And it's going to be awesome. Like even in the healthcare area where you're so strongly vested you know that, well, you know what just happened with my Achilles. We talked about it yeah. and I just, you know, regenerated my Achilles. I'm sure we'll get there. But that idea that, you know, I'm doing, I need preoperative care, postoperative care. I need to have, I need to talk to experts all the time when they're not available, but I can talk to agents. And I'm sure all of us are going to chat GPT and asking medical questions as well. We saw that study that was amazing, right? Where the accuracy level can be higher than a lot of doctors. Well, it's not only that, the accuracy level of the agent alone was higher than the doctor and the agent because the doctor's injecting bias into yes, all that. Yes, yes. It's crazy. Um, yes. I, we so don't do that, Peter, thank God. I, I, I'm not biased. You oh, and I are, we have no bias. We're, <laughs> we're crystal clear. We've really just moved that right out of our minds. So thank goodness.